Should I move the truck over? Let me bring y'all in here and show you what I'm doing. I am cutting, woo! I am cutting the rafters for this bathroom area back here for this master bathroom. And what you have to do is, so I'm figuring the rafters by um, determining my rise, my total rise, and my slope of my um, of my roof. So I have about a <laughs> little unconventional, about a six and a half, twelve. Um, so let's just call it six, twelve roof in my bathroom. So what I did was I used my speed square to start with to get my initial uh, cut on my um, where my rafter hits my ridge. Then I take my measurement, my total measurement from the top of my ridge, actually from the middle of my ridge down to where the seat cut goes down here uh, and then i take my framing square hang on a minute so i take my framing square and uh let's bring you in here a little bit so i can show you what i'm talking about so then i take my framing square and because i know that it's going to be a 612 i'm going to use this outside i want to be at 12 and I want to be at six. So I measured my rafters. Uh, my common rafter length was 90 inches to the seat cut. I took my mark at 12 inches, brought my tape measure, my square around to my six inches. And uh, yeah, that gives me my, my back cut here, my seat cut. And then this is actually the seat. This is the cut that goes up against the wall. Then um, I went up three inches and cut over and this part right here is what will rest on the uh two by six wall so that works out really good because that's about five and a quarter inches the exact same as the wall is going to be so i'll lift that up it's going to go behind me here um, i cut one made sure it was exactly where i wanted it to be and then once i knew it was where i wanted it to be I went ahead and made a template off the other one. So uh, I'm gonna continue to trace off of that one. I don't cut one, uh, make my original cut off of it and then continuously go down because if there's a little bit of a discrepancy, um, if there's a little discrepancy in that, that next one, it just gets exaggerated every time I cut another one. So the original one that I cut, I will always make my, my uh, 
that will be my template and I'll always make another one off of it. So I wrote on it template and then, uh, yeah, so I'll just carry on. What I mainly wanna do right now is get two of them cut so I can put them at the very end, the outside wall, the gable end of the wall, so I can get them setting into place and make sure this thing sits where I want it to do, uh, where I want it to sit height wise. And then I can start running them back and start tying them in, which I'm not really 100% sure how this goes. So this is not a how-to. I'm just letting you guys know what I'm doing. This is kind of trial and error a little bit. I did a little bit of research. I did some reading, watched a few videos, and um, yeah. So please don't use me as a how-to as far as framing goes. Uh, I just know when I get done with it, it'll, it won't fall down. That's the hope, right? So let me get a few more of these done out, <clears throat> and then I'll try and I'll probably bring you guys outside and let you look back in on it where you can see uh, me starting to put these things up. Let's go.
Hey everybody, all right. So I hope you enjoyed uh, watching Phil put most of that uh, roof sheathing on the house. Uh, I, I can't say thank you enough to my buddy Phil for um, for coming over and slinging those sheets up there and, and helping me get that done. As you can see behind me, the roof has now been uh, covered with a, with a synthetic underlayment and um yeah so it's it's been a few weeks finally got some thin uh thin static uh underlayment on the roof had to wait for a nail inspection um the county that i live in requires that we use a galvanized ring shank nail and they also require that those nails are um every six inches around the perimeter of the wood and every um, 12 inches in the field. So on the roof itself, the roof, uh, not just the roof, the roof and the wall sheathing used about 10,000 nails. Um, man, that's just crazy to even think about that. But as you guys can see, I'm kind of uh, sliding through some video here. You can see the roof is done. You can see um on the inside how the roof looks and how everything is finished up there now i am just basically waiting on some shingles uh because of the hurricanes and because of um plants being shut down because of covid and things like that the uh the manufacturers haven't been able to put out as much product mainly because of the storms the hurricanes that we've had over the past few months the the supply is just gone so i have my hands on some shingles and i have a crew of guys that's going to come out probably take about four hours and they're going to get this roof knocked out and um like i said you know, it's pretty simple, pretty basic, nothing special going on. I also have the drip edge up and um, it turned out really well. Even where my drip edge meets together, I took and uh, put some white rivets in it, sealer in between it, just to kind of, just to kind of pretty it up. You know what I mean? Trying, it only took a few minutes to go around the entire place and and just get everything fastened together where nothing's flopping around or anything like that so hopefully you enjoyed uh this video number three on the house and um you know i hope you guys are enjoying the updates and everything that we're doing here um just to try and keep you you know updated like i said um not necessarily a build video just more of an update video and uh you know, kind of to archive it for myself for later on if I want to go back and take a look at it. But if you did like the video, please like the video. Make sure you subscribed. Make sure you share with some friends. And um, we got some other stuff going on. Maybe the next video will be about, I'm going to do a time lapse of having the roof put on um, with the shingles. And uh, I got a few other videos coming out. Made a trip to the sawmill at my buddy Thomas's place and uh, got some cruising the coast video for old cars all kind of stuff happening different things right now until i get a shop built and i start doing the normal woodworking turning metal projects and all that kind of stuff again so make sure you check uh check out some of the older videos and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below uh in the in the comment section and i'll be sure to get back to you and uh until next time i'll see you on the next video thanks for stopping by